everybody. Well, well, well. I don't know if I've got that turned right so you can see it or not. Is it better if I turn it upside down and turn it around? I got my glasses. Yes, I did. As you can see, I've got the old glares on. Yep, got the old glares on. But I tell you what now, they're beautiful frames. There we go. Very nice frames. Beautiful. Five pairs of them. I'll set that there. Got me a nice little cleaning cloth to clean them with. Let me get out another one here. I was just waiting and waiting and I was so excited. Yes, I'm happy when I got them. There's another frame. Very pretty frames. Very pretty. Yeah, I was just tickled pink. You know, I'll just lay that there. It's hard to get, get them back in that little sack. Here's number three. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, they look nice, don't they? Very nice. Get in there. Yeah, well, I'll put it there. And here's number, let's see, one, two, three, this is number four. This is a clear frame. Very nice. If I could hold it straight. Very nice. And they look very nice on me, you know, to my liking. You know, I don't know if anybody else would like it, but I liked it. And let's see here. Here's number five. Yeah, I like that. It's just kind of dark for me, but I kind of like it. Very nice. Yeah, very comfortable. Yeah. And I think my favorite pair that I picked was these. Kind of like these pretty good. Yeah. Very nice. Very comfortable. Fit beautifully. Very nice. Where are you? Are you in there? Okay. Shake my hand. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, but that ain't all. Oh no, there's more. Hang on. I got this little card. Glasses. Isn't that cute? Then on the back, there's a blank place right there. And underneath it, it says, the test area of anti-blue purple. Well, I looked in the box again and was looking for some instructions. <laughs> Isn't there any instructions, you know, even a one-liner? I would appreciate it, just a one-liner. And then I got this little thing. Yeah. It's got a little hole right there. And it's got a little button, if you can see it, right there. So I thought, well, what's that little button for? So, this is hard as a rock. Hard as a rock. And then you light it up. 
So, I thought, well, here's the little card. So, am I supposed to poke it here? Okay, I'm poking. And the card ends up with that color. Now, am I supposed to put that on the glasses? Okay. This is about the hundredth time I've done it. Yes. Let's try these, the ones I just had on. No, I guess these look good. Huh? So, there's the glasses. And let's see what happens. There's the light. See it? There it is, right there. Now, how long am I supposed to do this? When does it shade the glass? So I just keep waving it back and forth. Now I'm going to try it on. And it doesn't last long. And I'll show you in a minute here. Nothing. Nothing. The shade that I might have wanted, it's all gone. Just that quick. Okay. Well, I I do like the little cloth. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> It's just, just like me, now I can't see, I, I got so much glare on these glasses, I really can't see nothing, but I'll get down here a minute. Uh, I can't see it, just a minute, hang on, there we go, made in PRC. What's PRC? What does that stand for? Previdence? Something Canada, maybe? Or PRC something in China? Uh, well, anyway, folks, that's the story of five beautiful frames. Anti-glare glasses. Gee. You get what you pay for, don't you? Oh my goodness, Betty, 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 Betty. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I did make a few notes. I don't look so good because I took a very late nap. I was kind of wore out again. But uh, I did make some notes here, and you've probably already read about them. But my thoughts and prayers go out to the more unfortunate at this time that we're living in, that's for sure. Uh, and poor Mississippi. Oh, they got flooded so bad. And their water. They ran out of water. Bottled water that was being sent to them by thousands. And wherever they were sending them from, the towns, the cities, the country, whatever, they couldn't keep up. So I don't know how they're surviving there because they don't have any clean, fresh water to drink. Bottled water, they can't drink their other water, period. They started out by boiling it, but then they said, don't do that, it's not helping. Oh my goodness. Yes, flooding has left them in an unbearable source of water. Yeah. And I got on here that they were boiling water just to survive. But now they've, they've asked for more bottled water. But they're just so low. They don't have enough to go around. There's cars lined up for miles and miles, they say, just trying to get some water. Isn't that sad? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. And out west, millions will be in a very hot temperature system. 
It might have already started. Yeah. Pfizer, okay, is boosting and rolling out the conveyor belt more vaccine to stop this viruses now that have cut loose again on us. Monkeypox and etc. Whatever. And um, the, now some of these viruses are supposed to help with a lot of illnesses. Now I don't know if they mean just the strains from the virus uh, COVID that are coming out or the monkeypox or is it supposed to be for the whole body system. I didn't quite get that one. That's just, but it says several illnesses as the viruses keep changing. I guess it's for the viruses that are cut loose now. They're trying hard to keep up with the variants that are popping up in the people. Okay, that explained it. Biden's is fighting hard to stop the sales of assault weapons. To curb these killings, he asked for funding more for the police. Guardian Angels uh, group is out trying to protect the public in New York. They made up a group, and they're called Guardian Angels, that are trying to keep people from getting killed, putting themselves in their place, you know, more or less, you know, like the police do. And, uh, Oh boy, I hope they went out against this gun violence in all states and cities. Can't be soon enough. So many adults, children have been killed. And uh, school where children have been killed and shot, injured. So unnecessary. So unnecessary. Oh my goodness. China. They are really, really in a lot of chaos right now, is what I would call it. Seems to be a famous word of mine lately, chaos. Mm -hmm. But they have shut down businesses due to viruses just racing through China now. So did someone from the lab let something else out they shouldn't have? Oh my God. People are forbid to leave their homes. They are mass testing. 18 million people. They have put up um, mental barriers with barbed wire fences for lockdowns. Wow. To keep their people locked in their homes. Oh my goodness. It's just, I don't know. And Luku or Long Gang, and wherever they were having entertainment for the adults or younger, maybe you know, and square dancing activities, and they do square dancing in China. Well, I used to square dance. Yeah, mom and dad loved it. We would go. I was just a little kid, but uh, they taught me go see do and around and around. <laughs> Grab your partner, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I remember them old days. Yeah. But uh, all activities have been closed down. Uh, more of the stores. Pretty soon people can't even get food in China. Because they're all locked down and wrapped up in barbed wire. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. We just shake our heads. That's all we can do. Okay. Now, but only about 30 cases, when they started all this barbed wire and lockdowns and closing the stores all up and groceries and all that stuff locked up, I had been proven positive. Unthinkable. Now they're making, like their people are in prison. It seems this scary situation tells me, is there more to the viruses that they've not even told anybody, any other countries, including us. My gosh, 
it does it seems like they're more to it than what they're telling other countries than us when only 30 cases had emerged but lockdowns all over China locations and fences made a barbed wire to keep people from going out anywhere subway stations bus stations across the Shizan or Cheyenne including maybe around uh, Hu Kuan Bai, oh dear, unthinkable. All electronics, all them, they shut them down. People can't do nothing. Oh my gosh. Now overnight though, just overnight from the 30 that had been found positive, it jumped from 112, no, 112,000 006 on August 29th. Wow. Something ain't right there in Denmark, is there? That's an old saying. You know, ain't nothing when there's something rotten in Denmark or something. <laughs> I remember them old sayings once in a while, you know. I just, boy, it's really not funny. It's really not funny because how can you go from 30 to 112,006 that are now positive and dying? Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. We are over the weekends, over the weekends, in the USA at one time, we had 100,000 down with just this COVID. 94.1 million, one-third of the USA, and 104 deaths. I think that's supposed to be more. No, it's 94.1 million have died, I guess. And one-third, that's one about one-third or so of the USA. And like I said, I can't read my writing very good. Looks like I'll be going a long time like this. Oh, just hang in there, folks. We're going to make it. <laughs> okay, total 601 million would worldwide have lost a loved one. Lost job. Years 21 and years 22 from this COVID. We might, we might be living with these viruses, strains, now they have come up saying, this will be our lifetime now. We will be living with these strains of viruses that are all coming loose from China and wherever else, maybe. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, on another note, would you like Joe... But it's spelled J-O-I-E, I believe. I would call it Joey, but they say no, his name is Joe. My son's name is Joe. Yeah. Uh, as a pet, would you like to have him as a pet? Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah, seven years old. Five and a half foot long. Alligator. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> not me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Well, this gentleman does. Yes, this gentleman does. His pet, Allie, is very tamed and beautiful. Reptile. They go all over the place together grocery stores, walks in the park, and when he meets others, the alligator, he likes kisses and hugs. Yeah, if he raises his nose up, he says, I want a kiss. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful story. Mm. He is, he is the Wally Gator. He's made headlines. Oh, yes. Hopeful hint. 
so if you'd like to have one as a pet please keep feeding him or her you may save your life <laughs> yeah, it's not funny either but you know <laughs> it's just me <laughs> well so much for the glasses so much for a little bit of the news so much for what's his name again Wally the Gator yeah Wally the Gator and he gives people hugs in shopping malls I forgot to add that part <clears throat> okay each to their own as they say well people that's all for tonight now I'll get this video downloaded get my glasses back in the cases and I think you know where they're gonna go don't you right back to Amazon yeah, get my poor little $12 back, because that's what it come to with tax. Yeah. So I better get busy here. God love you. Stay safe. Keep faith. Pray, prayers flow them all over the world. Everywhere. They're needed so bad. We need Jesus to just come down and get us completely cleared up of all this mess. Bless his heart. God love him. Amen. Bye.